We got the net. All right, that's nice. We got this is a storage locker. We got a few things here. We're pretty nice. As of right now, we don't have. We can't do any oceanic because we have basic troll net, which is going to be fine because we're going to be doing some of the pursuits. That's worth a lot of money. Um, we're going to do a, a few of our pursuits. Find the bell buckle near little marrow. We're going to dredge for that. So we don't need the oceanic one. And then we're going to be searching for relics in every one of the areas around here. But first, we're going to talk to the lighthouse keeper. What is it? What's with the fog around here? Nobody knows. It's changed recently. It lingers in the mornings now, where before, it didn't seem to have the strength. Even in the midday sun, I feel it. A malice concealed in shadows, waiting for night to sweep the island. She glances up at the lighthouse. If this light should ever falter, then gods help us. Alright. What about the mayor, that funky little fella? That's... he's... Ugh, I try not to think about him. It's a painful memory for all of us. Some nights I still think I can hear the hum of his engine sailing past the bay. But I know he's gone and I don't want to talk about it anymore. Oh, Little Marrow, that's on the other side. And he's dead. Alright, we got some money. Let's have a look at the ship, right? You got anything new for us? No, you don't. That's fair. That's very fair. Alright, we're going to stick with these and then we're going to be trying to research our way. Let's see, research. We're going to research our way to this engine. And that's going to give us some extra speed. Which would be nice. And we, we could also get jet drives. That's 18. So that's 19 we get. Where this one is 26 and 26. So 18 plus 15.8. That's about the same. Oh my, I'm bad at math. But having this in the middle with two jet drives would be fastest, wouldn't it? Right now we've got 14 and 15. Yeah, we could. We could replace this one. Soon-ish, actually. That'd be nice. Right, because even if we, don't, if we have zero engine, we still have some knobs to get us around. Okay. Away we go. I know it's uh, going to be in the middle of the night very soon, but I wanted to get these peculiar fish. And then uh, let's have a look. Getting over it with mind and body gives us 15% resilience to panic. Akin to climbing a mountain. A strange journey smattered with quotes and wisdoms that promise enlightenment. But towards it, at the end, it became a tedious and unrewarding slog. Akin to climbing a mountain. An odd mix of relaxation and frustration. Maybe I'll read it again someday. Nah, you're not gonna. Alright, the relaxed mind. That's probably also gonna be something panicky. Okay, let's get some weird squid. Well, a brood squid. That's a funky looking little fella. I mean, now that we're out here anyways, I might as well oh, fish as much as we can. Ain't no reason not to. What we've got in the crab pods. A big one. A right big one. Stick you down there, fella. Um, we want something to be in there, but we there's nothing we know that fits. It mean, would have to be smaller. More thing. This is... Lounders? Alright, let's have a look. Ah, it's groupers. Groupers, of course. I know fish. Okay. Careless harvesting. We just got an achievement that says deplete a total of 50, 25 fishing spots. Yeah, alright. But certainly not good for the nature around here. Okay. There is pretty much no way we can get two squares. It would have to be these two here. Nothing I can s tell. Because that then takes this space. 
these would have to take that space. I don't know which is worth more, groupers or, or squids. But we're going to go back now and try and rest up before we get it, but whatever it's out here in the dark. Oh, we got something new. Another one. Lovely. All right. We'll come back later for it. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. All right, we're in for the money now. But let's sell. First, we're going to sell whatever we have right now. Then we'll go out and get the crab pots. Do it again. All right, so sell all of this. 31 for the brood squid. The grouper is worth twice as much as squids. Even though it's in the same the same size as two squids. Not twice as much. Oh, my. the math is leaving me. No, of course, the grouper is worth uh, three times as much as one squid. Which would give us... Um, reason to have two group one grouper instead of two squids. Of course. There's no room for this, is there? Can we make room for this? I don't think we can. Nope, you're going back. Oh, I can't put you back. No! Bugger. I'm hearing it start to grumble. The fishy. No, there's nothing here. Oh, this is frustrating. All right. So, sorry, Fiddler. You're going out. And we'll pick up this. Bring it in for repairs. Throw it out tomorrow. Same with you. Pick you up. No, I don't want to. I don't want to place it. I want to pick you up. Get in here. What are those sounds? Is something coming for me? I'm scared. All right, some fish bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We got one of those. All right, let's sell it all. Out with you. Then we'll get. Let's get some more crab pods. A hardy one. Pretty decent. Thank you. Some fishing one as well. Might as well. There we are. Because then we'll just place these pretty much all over out there. Like so. Now we don't have t uh, any money for repairs. But we'll we'll get that the, the, like, the extra crab pods fixed later on. Well, let's just go out and see what we can do. Let's have a look at the map. All right, let's go right little marrow, try and get the belt buckle. And then we'll go and talk to the, the guy over at little marrow afterwards. That That's all right. That's the whale is. All right, here we got some gear. Shapes in the water. Gotta be dredging. This is nice. Because we, we do like the upgrades we get, we're trying to save up for a hull upgrade so we can get some more cargo spaces and some more uh, HP. Because right now it doesn't seem like we have any. Alright, message in a bottle, let's get you. We'll read that once we're back in town. Ooh, I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I'm seeing ya. I'm seeing ya out here. We can get ya. Little apparated fishies. A funky mackerel. A grotesque one. Nice. Don't know if that's worth it or not. Maybe. Okay, let's go to the shipwreck here. Dredge up the ring. And then we can always come back for all of these extras. Ooh! That's quick. Boom! The bronze belt buckle. Let's go. We could throw a crab uh, pot down around here. I think we'll do that. We'll go out here where it's a little deeper. I know it says few, but I kind of want to. I kind of want to drop it, anyways. 
party one. Then we'll then we'll do some more in here next to the shallows, just to get the ones we have off. Throw one here. Throw one here. Throw one over here as well. Yes, now we should. We only have one left, so that's nice. We talk your drift all the way around, and then we'll get ourselves some extra gear. Because if we can get some of these uh, metal scraps, then we can work on the final hull upgrade. Not the, like, the final uh, upgrade in this series. Boom. Alright. Do we... Can we... Can we make space for one more? I would not think so, no. Unless we threw out this accursed mackerel. No. Alright, we'll wait. We'll wait. What have we got over here? That's treasure. We'll do some of this. That's gonna be fine. Oh, an old iron chain. Probably not worth it, but... Might as well. Oop. I do not have haste equipped. Gonna go back to that now. The relaxed mine. What does that give us? 10% resilience to panic. Alright, we're getting better. That's a nice way to do, like, easy progression. Alright. Let's go. We're going back with the mackerel, because I don't want it to go bad. And then we're going to Little Marrow afterwards. Let's follow me around that weird... A kind of slimy fog with the colors and everything. Alright, let's have a look. What have we got in the net? A little, a little decent part. Then the mackerel, of course. That's pretty good. We can buy some more crabs if we would like to. Talk to the shibby. No, not you. Not here. In here. As we can then do one and a two and a three. And we've got... Then we'll get extra space here. We don't have the money for it. And we're just going to save it. And then we're going to be saving up for this. For the next one. Alright. Uh, no sense in resting. We'll rest on the other side. I like how... We, whoa! That's not there usually. Oh, that's such a cool game mechanic. Just having things appear where they aren't during the day. Like, that messes you up. That messes you up in a good way. Alright, let's talk to some folks over here. Hell yeah. Okay, grieving father. Hello, is everything okay? About that belt buckle. Give the buckle to the man. Yes. You give the belt buckle to the man. This is... This is his! Oh, thank you. Bless you. You've returned him to me. Please, take this. I've not any money to pay you, but this might hold some value to you. It does. Anything else? No, thank you. We'll talk to the trader. Let's sell this little iron chain. Leave you be. Alright. Pretty good. I don't feel like I'm getting all that much out of the net. I mean, of course we're getting something. When we're going around... Uh, what am I doing here? Let me just have a look. We could get an improved net. Gives us even more. It also takes up a lot of space. I'd rather go for the engine. Oh, I just knocked over my glass of water. Whoop! And let's rest up. See what we can do. So we still got one metal scrap. We're going to put this into storage. For now. We're going to wait with this. Oh, we can't... We can't install this, can we? No. Because we need to... Or can we? Yeah, we oh we can just swap it on the go. It doesn't have to be the uh, the uh, the ship ride doing it. Okay, another message. The day after the twenty first of August, nineteen twenty seven, we had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows at the back of Greater Marrow. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and stuck in the front of the boat. It did not penetrate the hull, but it jostled us around, and a few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see what they were, which is of some concern, but we believe all important articles are accounted for. He's been checking over some notes from the boat renaming ceremony. He's paranoid that he performed the steps incorrectly. I've never known him to be so superstitious. 
Working, working on the honeymoon, it seems. All right. I think we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna undock here, and let's have a look. Wait a minute, we're gonna, we're gonna dock again. Hello. I can talk to the dog. Uh, he's not looking well. The dock worker is standing motionless on the edge of the dock, staring down at the water. He seems paralyzed by what he sees. Stay with him. You stand with him for a while. Occasionally a tremor shakes his body and his breathing becomes elaborate. Stay with him again. He strains, clutching his fists, eyes shut tight with effort. A tear rolls down his cheek. We're committed now. His body relaxes suddenly and his eyes snap open again. They are cloudy and expressionless. Fluid rattles through his lungs. A drop of dark ooze falls from one of his ears and lands on the dock. It slips between the boards and disappears into the water below. What was that? A trembling head turns ever so slightly towards you. His breathing grows heavy in anger until you step backwards, leaving him standing there on the dock. Alright. Man, this is not doing good. Um, so what are we doing? What are we doing? We're working on the upgrades. I think we'll do one where we're going fishing. Big time. Like so. And we're going to do a big fishing trip here. Get ourselves some of the bronze whalers because they are worth a ton of money. And then maybe we'll go down and explore somewhere around these other islands. Maybe go by and have a, have a, uh, a talk to our friend the builder. Alright. Hello. Ooh. Nice. We're hearing all sorts of sounds. Okay. How about you? Can we get you? Some extra cod. We do like cod. Pays fine money. Nothing too good. Put you in here. Boom and a bam. Ugh, fanged cod. Disgusting. Right, so we're gonna move this over. Then we got space for something here. Before we have to go back and sell everything. I think we might just. No reason to stay out. We can have a look in the crab pots. That doesn't take us all that much time. Right, we'll just take all that up. Then, yeah, that's it. Going back home. Honk, honk. All right, let's do some haste. Hello, folks. How you doing? All right, fishmonger. We've got plenty of money in here. Woo wee! An aberration really does sell for a ton of money. Okay, let's get it sold. Let's get this repair so we can throw it out again. Uh, Hello. Whoop. Oh. Thank you. And then we'll go for the dry dock and purchase this little upgrade. Boom. Extra rod spaces. Very nice. We can get some of the things we had out of storage now. Take this bolt. Take the scrap. Upgrade your vessel to a tier 2 hull and adds 5 new cargo spaces. And one extra additional impact. We need refined metal. I don't know where we get refined metal. It might be from uh, from quests. But first of all, we're going to go in here into our storage. And then we'll get this sinew spindle. I think. What does that give us? It just gives us extra speed and then it's a little weird is pretty much what I've gather oh it's because is it because we can get something okay 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 so right now we have uh, five four two by two and then or uh, two by three. Oh, that's not it two by two and plus one we've got a flexible one here so let's have a talk to the shipwright we have this one which is only shallow water then we have this one, which is mangrove and coastal. So we're going to try and get this one. Once we have this one, then we can put in the sinew spindle as well. And that'll give us 
so we can do mangrove coastal shallow and oceanic with the hydraulic rod so we've got pretty much space for everything all right let's go it's fishing time whoop whoop oh it's it's gonna be dark soon I did not think this through maybe we should get some eel I don't feel like these are really worth enough for us to get them when we have so much, uh, so many other things like the, the oh, bronze whalers to actually get. Like, if we do this, well, there's not going to be room for the whaler at all, actually. Unless we do it like this. No? Nope. Too many eels. But if we do like this, then there'll be a space for one whaler. Now let's see if we can't get one of those and then go on back on home. Or are there just no fish out at night? Maybe we should just dredge some wood. We're gonna need it for the hull upgrade. Scares me this camera angle. Because Anything could sneak up on us while we're doing that. Oh, stock is depleted. We're gonna have a look around. Oh, it's out there. I see you. It's funky because time only moves while we move, but the the enemies there, the like the evil fishes, oh, they they keep moving even if we're stationary. We're going to follow the wind. Alright. Hope that doesn't actually... Oh, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. Alright. Oh, no. I'm not fast enough for this. Is it going to come all the way into the shallows as well? No! Ah! What do we lose? Alright, we lost a bunch of things. But there's something here. That it wanted us... The, like, the winds pushed us here. A one strong wooden hull lays broken against the shoreline. The stern is completely beached. Try to get inside. You pull a bit closer and manage to clamber into the back of the wreck. You look around. Pearl earrings, research parts. Very nice. Uh, we don't really have space. For this, for the metal scraps, that is what it is. All right, all right, all right. Is there anything we can do? Move that eel down? No. Nothing. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, Tetris, bane of my existence. I feel like there should be a way to get this working. I feel like we're right close to it. Okay. No, that doesn't give us anything. Ah. No. All right. We're gonna throw out one of these eels, the smallest one. You. You're getting discarded. Yeet. We want these scraps. And then we're going to go right home. The lighthouse. I thought it was it was said that they can't go into the shallows. Like the, the, the things that are trying to eat us. Oh, but apparently not. I was incorrect. Oh, this is going to be expensive. This is going to take us some time. Okay. Reactions are slowed. There are rocks here that we can't see elsewhere. I'm curious about the ship. Like the ghost ship that's lying in here. But then dawn breaks. Alright. We made it through the night. Outside of town. It's funky. Ooh. Uh, that's our light gone. Okay. Ooh. 
try not being paranoid, Fishmonger. First of all, you get this. And then we'll go repair our damages. Repair everything costs us 90. Oh, and we wanted this. Not successful. Not suspect successful in the least. The dry dock, we've got cloth, we've got wood, and we've got metal scrap. So we're looking for a bunch of wood and some refined metal. I have no idea where we can get that. Let's do the research for the outboard engine. Yeah! How much is that going to cost us? Hey? 300. That's a ton of money. We could have two of those down there, and then we'd be really, really speedy. I don't think I'm going to be using the improved outboard again. But I don't want to sell it just yet. Alright. Let's go. We'll go have a look at our crabs. Throw down this one as well. The crab pod. I'm trying to have a look now at the the top. Like the um, the time. Does that speed up when we're speeding up? No, it, does, it doesn't seem like it. What's that? Spooky Sagari Cyclone. That's just evil. That's straight up just evil coming for us. Whoa. I don't understand if we're safe or not. Nope. All right. Straight up, just don't go out when you're panicking, because it'll mess you up. That's fair. Do we have room for this if we change some things around? Not really. Nope, 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 nope. No, 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 nope, 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 no, nope, nope, nope. Nah, there's no room. We'll leave you. Go back and repair. Ooh, cloth. That's just what we needed. Oh, research. This is the one time I'm not really happy about finding research parts. Hell yeah. Alright, then so we're gonna throw out a crab if need be. And then we can have space for both of the bolts that we need. Yeah. Like so. Alright. Common crab, you're discarded. You've been voted out of the Iglo. Hand over your fish. Alright, gonna be skeeting through here. Tokyo drifting. Greater Marrow drifting, if you will. And we're gonna sleep it off. We are all the way paranoid, and it does not seem like it's going to be helping us out. Actually, does it give us? It gives us extra paranoia to use the haste, extra panic, I should rather say. Okay, let's sell this gas, and we can go for the research. What are we researching? I wonder. We could go for the improved net. Also go for the heat resistant line, that would give us something else. Like this one as well. Is really nice. No, I think we're gonna we're gonna go for the rod. As fishing will give us the better opportunities to Oop, I'm gonna stick this in storage now. Oop, like so. And then we'll do the repair. I wonder what happens if you get completely destroyed. There you are. Okay. We can go over and deliver the pearl earrings and throw down our crab trap and rest somewhere. Crab pot here. Throw you out. Yeet. There you are. Beware of overheating. I don't know if it makes us extra scared, extra panicked to use the haste or not. I haven't been able to figure that out yet. Okay, trader. Sell you a little bit of summit. And then let's talk to the dock worker again. Oh, he's still there. S still just 
Looking into the sea. How's... Oh. Man's not doing good. Man's doing terribly. Okay. Let's have ourselves a go. Now we're all about that money. We're going to explore a bit. It wants us to go to the Gale Cliffs. But we're going to go over here instead. Uh, I know there was a metal part we could grab. Wasn't it metal? Or did we throw out something else to get the metal? I think we threw out something else. That's, that's good. That's a pretty decent idea. Now, if we want money, the surefire way is, of course, these guys. They're just worth a ton. Absolutely lovely. What's that over there? That's just cod. And then swordfish. Nice. Come on, swordies. Ooh, what's that over there? That's a nice building. That looks cute. Boom. Sailfish. Oh my Jesus, you're long. A right long boy. So you can fit here. Perfect. That's going to be worth two meters across. It's going to be worth a ton of money. Certain. And we have two of these instead. No, because I have because I have the fishing rod. The way I do. Alright, we're just going to go right on back. Is there something down there? I like the sounds. Hello, friendos. What are you doing? You just you just vibing? Seems like they're just vibing. This game is full of so many little things. Like the dolphins here, like the wind that pushes you to things you would want to see. I'm still very curious about what panic actually does, because it seems like it might um what's it called? It might uh heighten up just how much danger you're in, so if you're more panicked, you're more likely to encounter enemies, more likely to encounter cyclones. But I haven't been able to figure that completely out yet. I'm excited to, to think a little bit about it. Alright. You're worth a ton of money. Not quite enough for it to be worth it to throw out a bronze whaler. But more than enough that we could get the things that we need from the ship rat. Hello, shibby. Um, what were we thinking about? We were thinking about the anti-tangle line. As we can then throw this in here. Take the flexible and put it into storage. Because it might it might be good still. I'm going to take this one back. Uh, into the cargo. And have that installed. So now we've got plenty of fishing. We can pretty much get anything we want. If we want it... Oh, there's nothing quicker than the hydraulic. That's insanely fast. Alright. Now it is sleeping time. So now we're going to be speeding all the way around. Hell yes. On dock. Okay. Let's go for the crab pots that we have. Oh, no, we're going to we're going to follow the wind. What's it guiding me towards? Guiding me towards whatever is in there, but I don't have the explosives for it. Okay, let's get this bolt of cloth then. I'll never say no to this. The good thing about things like these is we can just go around get, and get them from anywhere and then stick it into storage because we can access storage from everywhere. That's, that's nice. So, going for a, a, a dredge like this where we're pretty much mostly getting, um, like getting these kinds of things. What, what are the ones over there? Those are also eels. Oh, there's some unlucky fellas in that ship over there. Let's go and have ourselves a look. I think would be a good idea. We've got... Is that also whale is? Yeah. 
I have no idea how many, like, basic kinds of fish there are here. Okay. Shaped them deep. Let's hope we get something valuable this time. A silver trinket. That looks decent. Oh, we, we can put one, two metal scraps in. And then we can put two boards over here. A wig? That's monkeys. Monkeying around out here. That's a little freaky. Freaky sounding. Alright. Let's be quick about it. We're also we're losing daylight. And we're just gonna keep that. And that over there, that's gonna be cloth. So let's go for these these wooden boards here. Because we need a bunch of those for the next upgrade. Uh, let's see. Put you in here for now. Put you down here. Put you down here. Put you up here. Put you up here. Uh, no, that's not it. Uh, we do it like... I had an idea before. I I saw a way we could just... We could put everything so that there could be... Two boards across. But I might have just been an insane person. I was not without... Possibility. Now I guess we're right, we can only have one wood here. I mean, that's fair. That's gonna be fine. Fine for us. Honestly. So let's turn on the lights. And is there a dock right here? No. I think we're gonna race it to Blackstone and throw everything we have into storage. So we don't wanna be too panicked. I'm gonna keep my eyes out. Oh, it's over there. Alright. Gotta go fast. It's seen us. Don't wanna be overheating. Don't wanna be looking at it either. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We can fit. We can fit. Oh no. We cut we could not fit. Ouch! Oh, that's a lot of damage. That was not worth it. <sighs> Oof. Okay. Uh, to storage, to storage, to storage, to storage, and to storage. And then we're going to hobble our way back home. Let's rest up. Maybe we can all ask the collector here if there's anything anything funky going on. Uh, let's see. Where should I look for relics? My intuition tells me that the current mayor comes southeast towards Galecliss. That's our priority, alright. Uh, the words you read from that book that gave us haste, what did they do to me? Oh. So, so that's. alright. I've knocked over my glass again. You know who owned these relics? Yes. Who? He looks at you for a moment. A look of something like regret flashes in his eyes. An old friend. Anything else? How long have you lived here? Quite some time. I used to be a fisherman, like you, and then I took an arrow to... No, as we... I used to be a fisherman, as was my father before. But two decades ago, I took up residence here. I needed to focus on other endeavors. I found that this island has a certain strength to it. Those dark basalt columns stretching downwards into the deep. Anything else? Nah, that's gonna be all for me, boss. All right. Let's hobble our way home. Pretty much just right beat up. We can't fish out here in the ocean deeps because we don't have the uh, hydraulic rod that's been ruined. So let's just pick up our crabs and go. I want to see what's in the deep one. Take all of that. We still have some space left. That'd be nice. Hello. Just, just shoot him out, you small crabs. All right. Pretty decent. It does seem like if you look up at the anchor right under the timer at the top, every time I do the click, it it puts in like some some red. So I'm I might just have to not do it as often because it seems to be working against me instead of with me. All right, trader, what will you give me for silver? Pretty much nothing. It's barely worth it. 
to go for the silver. It would seem. Okay, let's go home and get fixed. All oh, right, what a day. It's gonna be it's gonna be good for repairs. Okay, now I want to go find some, a mangrove. What is gonna be a mangrove of this? It's gonna be the twisted strand, probably. Maybe the gale. Okay. Oh wait, 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 wait! We're going back. We're going back. First of all, we are gonna be sleeping. Let's talk to the mayor. What can I do for you? I want to ask about the wider region. Certainly. Is there somewhere in particular you wish to know more about? The Gale Cliffs. Well, the main port over there is called Ingfell. It's right on the approach to the cliffs. You can't miss it. It's a whaling town, but I haven't heard much talk of it these days. I think quite a few people have left one way or another. Is there another island area? Uh, Blackstone Isle. Hmm, I don't know a great deal. It technically falls under the jurisdiction of Little Marrow, I believe. It was sold to a private owner some 20 years ago. They must have had a special arrangement. Such a sale is quite uncommon. Very complicated paperwork involved. I've not met the owner. I suspect they don't live around here. The island seems quite uninhabited. Another area? We'll wait. We'll wait. Uh, actually, actually, there's something else I wanted to talk to you about. Um, any strange occurrences? Yeah. Well, I heard that my counterpart and Little No, I'm not going to do the voice. And Little Marrow met the most unfortunate end. They say he went mad quite suddenly. One day he was normal, the next he was pacing the shoreline, hurling people's belongings into the sea. After some days like this, he disappeared, never to be seen again. Nowadays, the tale of the old mayor is used to scare children. Not many remember him, myself included. And those that do remember don't seem to like talking about it. A most unpleasant subject. Now what else can I do? Uh, shipwrecks? Shipwrecks? Unfortunately, there have been quite a few in recent years. The lighthouse helps, but even it struggles to crawl through the fog some night. We do our best to salvage and clear any shipwrecks that occur around the side of this island. That should make fishing a bit easier for you. Yeah. Around the back, though, it's a little harder to get to. There are still some wrecks towards the deeper patches. You'll want to avoid that area. Alright, let's get a going. Uh, a resting first. Rest until dawn. Not about to go out and get eight again. All right, let's see what we can do. Undocking. Now we're gonna go talk to our friend, the builder. Want to see what she's made after all this time? So nice and peaceful. Oh, nice! A cute little house. Oh. Oh, that's look looks so cute. Ah. Hey, thanks again for helping me move out here. I managed to get myself set up now. I found this while I was unpacking. You should take it. The engineer's companion. She hands you a book. The cover is dusty, but in otherwise good condition. If you ever need to use the dock or store stuff here, be my guest. That's nice. Ah. Alright, he doesn't have anything else to say to us right now. Let's, let's get to a reading. Okay. Undocking time. Now, what are we... I've forgotten what we're trying to get for the next upgrade. Is it refined metal and wood? I think it is. We're going to dredge this wood because we do, we do need it. Now, I ju it just clicked for me why the uh, things to the trader are worth less. It's because it doesn't rot. So you can just, you can keep them in your inventory or in storage for a long time. You don't actually have to go back and sell them immediately. Uh, like, if we go right around the corner here, I think, is that scrap? That's scrap, that's not treasure. 
But we'll take it and stick it into storage because we're going to need it later anyways. That's for sure. And who knows, might be research parts. Nice. Another one. Oh, it's getting better and better, this. Might be able to get a, a nicer, nicer little rod. Thing. Um, we're in the same issue again. Arg. All right. Oh, we can have. We can put one in here. That's fine. That's gonna be fine. It's gonna be good. Then we need to. We do need to be arresting soon, because. Ooh, don't want to be out at night. We have learned our lesson. I don't know. We're just gonna leave it as is, and we go and rest up, have a cup of tea with our builder friend. I mean, now that I'm here, anyways, I might as well get this cloth, eh? I'm insatiable. Boom. Nice. Got room for one more. And then we'll go uh, be arresting. Nice. Back to the storage we go. The creature's not waking up yet, it seems like. Okay, storage. Uh, to storage, to storage, to storage, to storage, storage. And storage. Nice. Let's rest up. Wake up when it's not so dire. And let's go. I think we're going to go back and talk to the builder. Uh, no, the ship. We can't talk to the ship, right? No. All right. Then there's nothing much left for us to do because we don't have the money. Uh, we don't have the parts, I should rather say, to get what we... Um, what we'd like from the shipwright. So, oh yeah, no, we're gonna skip on you and get a bronze whale instead, because they're worth a ton of money. There you are. Hello, boss. Nice. Don't even know if we have space for one more. Does not seem like it. Because I chose to fill it out like that instead. So because of how we have our rod set up, there's nothing to do. Nothing about it. Alright. Nope. No matter how we turn, twist, and fit this fish, it's not going to be there. Alright. There's, there's nothing to do here? No. Or, 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 because these ones aren't even going to be helping us, no matter what we do. All right, that's too bad. That's a bit bit stupid of me. This guy, you. Just go back home. Do we have any crab pots with us? No, we don't. It's just a nice little trip. A nice, pleasant little trip over to our builder friend. Docking in. Very cute. All right. Hmm, haven't seen that strange red light in a while. Wonder what that was. I don't even remember what it was. Okay, let's see. Dry dock. Yeah, we can take these from storage. Directly put them in, like so. That's nice. And then, let's see. How do we get refined metal, I wonder? Hmm. That costs a ton of money. We can't sell these. That's fair. Maybe we should change those out because, like, this is what this one is nice to have, of course. But I don't know if it's going to be worth it to just have all these things when we could kind of scale down on some of the things and instead try to have more space for cargo. But no. All right. 